Today we're going to look at how to import a PDF and to explode it and use it as a survey file. We've looked at something like this before a lot of times, uh, but we're going to be doing a series that's looking at how to create a, a home or a home design or a 3D house. And so therefore to start this off, let's look at how to import this file. Uh, we've brought this in at a scale of 1 to 100. Now it's very important which scale we use because we want to do it to scale, but in order to do that we need to understand what scale is on this drawing. So we see that this was 1 to 500 at A1, so when we bring it into 1 to 100 it's not going to be to scale. So let's do that again, and before we import it, this time we're going to change to 1 to 500. Now if we again drag and drop our PDF onto our plan, it brings it in, and I've got a scale reference over here, so we can see that it looks like it's already to scale. If we're uncertain whether it's to scale and it's a PDF, how do we check? We could guess. So let's have a look at one of these measurements. We could click here and click here, and we see, yeah, 29.4 looks about right. But if we don't want to be about right, if we want to be perfect, how do we do that? What we'll need to do is explode this PDF into 2D so we can use it in its 2D lines. So edit, reshape, explode into current view. Now in this case I don't want to keep the original. Um, in other videos I'm going to show you how to do it if we do keep the original. But for now let's just get rid of that so we don't get confused. So this has turned our PDF into 2D lines. Now in order to check whether this is correct, I'll again use the line tool. We could use the measure tool. Uh, I, don't, I don't ever use the measure tool. The line tool does a perfect job at measuring. And I'm going to trace over this line here, because this is the site that I'm going to use for this project. And we see that that is 29403. So in terms of accuracy, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know whether it's just this number's not accurate, but I would assume that because I brought it into scale that that's actually the way that it should be. If I've if I'm got any doubt, if I have any doubt, I can measure another one. 17.9, 17.887. So we see that that's 3 millimeters under, and this is 3 millimeters over. Therefore, that's really good to help us identify that it's not an issue with our scale, it's just an issue with the exact nature of the dimensions that we're given. I always say in ARCHICAD we need to draw exactly and that always makes it hard when we're starting from something that is inaccurate or imperfect but that's what we work with and that's often the industry anyway. So we know this is to scale, that's all I wanted to show in this video and in other videos we're going to look at how we can put this on an appropriate story, interact with it and then start drawing up our site.